Today we're going to be talking about peer pressure. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to uh, one of our tour devotionals. Uh, my name is Sergio. For all you newcomers, welcome, welcome. And for those coming back, welcome back. So let's just hop right into it, into a quick moment of prayer. So you can bow your heads and close your eyes with me. Lord, thank you for allowing us just to be able to tune in with you, Lord. Just we can receive your word, receive your devotional. That way we can use it to help our, our relationship with you. We can use it to help grow with you, Lord. So we can use this to help others to get to know you and help others just build a foundation with us. In your name I pray, amen. All right. So before I really get into it, just a quick story. Uh, the topic is peer pressure. And that's everywhere. You know, you could be in school, you know, at a workplace if you're working or just anywhere, really. There are going to be temptations and, you know, maybe friends or sometimes even family that might have you do things that you might not really want to do. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. And because you're so close to them, you might just um, end up doing it just so you don't feel left out. And that could cause a downfall with you. So it might make you lose your place in how you feel. It says here in Exodus 23 too, Always tell the truth in court, even if everyone else is dishonest and stands in the way of justice. So what that means, you could interpret it as saying, people might drag you away from what you're doing. They might deny things, but you know the truth. And you know, like, like I said last time, you, there's no re real reason to lie. So you don't want to have that title of having that liar on you. So it might cause some trouble, but you know, tell the truth. It'll go a long way for you and it'll benefit you more than those who don't. That's true. And as it says in Proverbs 27, 12, be cautious and hide when you see danger. Don't be stupid and walk right into trouble. So things might not be as obvious, as uh, others. So I remember when I was in middle school once, me and my friends wanted to go to a 7-Eleven that was right around the corner. And there was a little shortcut in an alleyway. And you know, we decided to take it because why not the shortcut? And as we were walking, there's another group of friends there. They're, you know, they're huddled up in a little corner, right, like against one of the walls. So we're just walking, we see them. We're like, all right, let's just mind our own business. That's when they all start stopping and say, you want to try this? And it was like a little drug. Um, it was weed, you know? They offered it to all of us, you know, wanting us to try it. You know, they weren't really letting us pass until we, you know, gave them an answer. So we just all kind of denied it. And again, they weren't letting us pass all that much, but we still got, you know, through. Got to Sunday and got back. So the mood was different within that, within our friend group, because we were all like, what just happened? You know, that it comes out of nowhere. So you just have to have, you know, the strong mind to, you know, strong mind and strong will to say no. Don't think you can't say no because you can. So uh, you got to be careful, you know, always be careful when you're walking. Like, yeah, we shouldn't have gone to the alleyway. We shouldn't have. We should just, you know, kept walking on the sidewalk. But we were just, you know, it's a shortcut. But if we didn't take that shortcut, we would have been safe and we would have avoided that. And there's going to be many instances where that might happen to you. It might not be in an alleyway. It might just be, you know, Maybe in a classroom, where you, let's say you're taking a test and you're close by to someone and they tap your shoulder, saying, do you have the answer to this? That's when you say, yeah, you know, like, quiet, I'm trying to focus, because then that would be cheating. And if you're caught, you're gonna get in trouble for it. You might get a zero on that test, and that's gonna drop your grade. And you don't want that, you know, everyone wants to pass. So don't fall into it, you know? Be cautious where you're going, because that it's gonna lead you to trouble. It's gonna take over and you're just gonna be, you know, left down. While others might be just rising up because they weren't caught. So just don't, try not to fall into peer pressure because that's how it gets you. You always need to just, you know, be cautious again. Because it could hit you anywhere. It could be your friends, you know, asking you to cheat for them. Maybe it might be them offering you to try, you know, an illegal substance. Or just, you know, something that's gonna lead you into a bad path. You know, and take you away from, you know, the walk with God. And speaking of friends, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Don't fool yourselves. Bad friends will destroy you. So, you know, be careful who you hang out with because they might be the ones to, you know, drag you down. They might be the ones to, you know, take you away from this path with God. So always be careful. 
like this example. You, have, you can have a basket full of apples, right? They're all, you know, clean, you know, healthy, good apples. And if you put one bad apple there, you know, an apple that's, you know, kind of rotten, has mold in it, you throw it in that batch, that is gonna spread to all the apples, ruining that whole batch. So it just really just takes one to just, you know, destroy that, you know, good character of it. So you need to be careful on who you're hanging with because that person, at first they might seem like they mean well, but later on they might reveal their true colors and want you to do other things. Uh, let's say you wanna, you know, come to church on Sunday, but they say, hey, Saturday night, they're bringing you out. They wanna say, you know, just come on, we'll be home early. And when they mean early, they mean early the next morning. You know, so you gotta be careful with that. They might, in that night, you might, they might put something in your drink if you go out, you know, grab a soda from 7-Eleven and they say, oh, let me get a quick sip of it. You're like, whatever, just waterfall it, you know, cause, or I don't know why you might share during this time. But if you do, they might put something in it and you might not remember what happened. So you gotta be careful who you're hanging with cause again, you wanna be a good apple. You don't wanna be that raw apple. You don't wanna have that raw apple with you. So it's always good to, you know, make sure who you're hanging with. And at the first start, they start showing, you know, signs of wanting to go down a bad path. You just gotta be smart and say, cut it off with them. If they start offering you things, say no. If they saying, oh, you know, you're not, you know, a real friend if you're not doing this. So they're not a real friend for trying to get you to do, you know, those things. So always be true to yourself, you know, because remember, we're on this righteous path with God. We don't want to, you know, stray away from it. We all want to make it to, you know, with him in heaven. You don't want to uh, have someone take you away from that. So always be careful, you know, don't let yourself get fooled by their nice intentions at first. Yeah, it might be fun at good at first, but later on, you never know what they might have planned. So always just be careful with that. And again, in Exodus, always tell the truth in court. Everyone else is dishonest, stands in the way of justice. Just, you know, tell the truth. Don't let anyone try to take you down with them. Because if you're telling the truth and they all get caught, you're going to get off scot-free because you told the truth. You, they have nothing on you. They're all going to get in trouble, but you're not. And again, as it says in Proverbs 27, 12, don't be stupid and walk into trouble. Again, you should always, you know, be wary of what the situation you're in. You know, if you're at a family gathering, you know, you're at a family gathering. Nothing can go wrong. You're hanging out with friends. You know, you're hanging out with friends. Nothing might go wrong. But someone might just bring something out of their pocket and change that whole mood. So you always need to be careful on who you're hanging with, who you know, who you know you're dealing with, and just be careful, you know? Don't fall into peer pressure, because that's, it always starts with one little thing, and then it starts growing. Because once that starts, it's gonna be like a snowball effect. You do one little bad choice, that bad choice could, you know, come back to and haunt you. That bad choice might, you know, lead to another one, because you thought, first time wasn't so bad, second time will be fine. But then it gets worse. It can get worse and worse and worse from there. So just be careful, you know? It's always good to have, you know, um, what's the word? Nope, uh, forgot the word. <laughs> Accountability, that's what it is, sorry. It's always good to be, have someone hold you accountable for something. You know, say, hey, let's not do this, let's go somewhere else. That's the friend you should be with because they're not gonna fall under peer pressure. They're trying to get away from that bad situation. They're not trying to walk into trouble. That's when you can go with them and be somewhere safe, you know? If you guys are out and about, all right, that's fine, but just be careful what you're doing. The second that bad situation happens, go home, go somewhere else, you know? Go to your friend's house who wants to leave, and just hang out with them. So, in the end, be careful, you guys. It says again, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Don't fool yourselves. Bad friends will destroy you. So we just hop into a moment of prayer. Lord, thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for allowing us to tune in to receive this knowledge on how we can avoid uh, peer pressure and how we can be held accountable and how we can just be ready to face danger wherever it may be. In your name I pray, amen. Thank you guys.